Neolithic age. The Mesolithic period lasted about 10,000 BCE. After that, the Neolithic or New Stone Age started. Some sites in India where Neolithic culture have been excavated are Kashmir, the Northern Vindhya, the Middle Ganga Valley and Eastern, Northeastern and Southern India. The most important features are A. Farming B. Community life C. Rise of village settlements D. Invention of wheel and E. Pot making etc. The beginning of settled life in villages by prehistoric man began during this period. Farming and herding of cattle Early man cleared the land near banks of the river. He sowed or scattered seeds in the field and watered it. He learned to take care of the crops. Thus, the food gatherer became a food producer. Domestication of animals Animals that could be kept alive on grass and leaves were domesticated for a specific purpose such as goats and cows for milk, sheep for wool, oxen for cultivation, donkey and horses for transportation and carrying load. Invention of the Wheel Perhaps the greatest invention of Neolithic man was the wheel. The idea might have been taken from the rolling logs of wood. The invention of wheel opened new doors in transportation. It quickened the pace of development and human contacts. The potter could now produce quality earthen pots with the help of the potter's wheel. Spinning of thread became possible and it led to weaving and making cloth. Tools In the beginning, the use of stone tools of Mesolithic period along with the bone arrowheads and microliths continued. Later, he used the sharp-edged weapons like polished plates as well as hand axes with wooden or bone handles. They were used to clear the forests for agriculture. Community Life With the advent of agriculture, man settled down permanently and began to live in a village. A Neolithic village consisted of a few closely built houses. The houses built were surrounded by a common fence of pricky bushes and stones. After that the concept of families came into practice. The families living in a Neolithic village were closely related and followed the same traditions. They shared the same common customs, religious beliefs, methods of worship, culture, etc. A group of such families is called tribe. They developed collective festivals, fair, dance and drama. Religion Neolithic man worshipped nature's power as he believed that if nature was not pleased, it may bring natural calamities. The nature's wonders or superpowers such as sun, fire, water, moon, etc. were given a name and an appearance, characteristics and methods to worship them and were offered sacrifices. They also respected those whom they feared such as a snake. Disposal of Deaths Megaliths Neolithic people buried their dead, sometimes in urns along with the objects, ornaments that they used and covered the place with huge rectangular blocks of stones called megaliths. Mega means large. The number of megaliths have been found in Indian subcontinent, some of them in Pakistan. A typical example of megalith is at Adi Channalur in South India. This shows that Neolithic people believed in life after death. Cremation was also practiced. Next. Calcolithic Age The Stone Age was followed by Calcolithic Age. Calco means copper. During this period, man used both copper as well as stone tools and implemented. Man discovered copper when copper ore broke away into copper and clay when heated in a furnace. The copper metal in clay melted and could be recovered. Man used copper in copper age. The term used instead of calcolithic age also. 
but calcolithic indicates the transitional period from stone to metal. Up to this point of human history, the prehistoric era all over the world was of similar nature. Man as a farmer and herder, Mesolithic age. We have already learned that inhabitants of the old Stone Age or Paleolithic man survived by hunting and gathering food. At the end of the Paleolithic age, the climate grew warmer which led to an increase in the variety of plants and animals. Now hunting and gathering food became easier. It was under such conditions that Mesolithic age began. Mesolithic age Early man improved his stone tools to hunt fast moving animals. His tools became sharper and materials like bones and horns were also added. Apart from chipped stone tools, Mesolithic man made smaller tools called microliths. Some of them were fixed on wood or bone and used as spears, saws, knives and arrows. With improvement in the stone tools and advancement made in hunting measures, man's search for food was confined to shorter distances. So, he started settling at one place. As the demand for meat increased, man started domesticating animals. Dog was the first animal to be domesticated. Others to be included were cows, sheep and goats. They gave him surplus stocks with additional supply of milk and animal skin. Most people still lived in rock shelters and caves. However, some returned at the time of harvest to the places where they sowed seeds and stayed on until they had used up the crops. These people made their own primitive houses. Houses were usually built in river valleys where there was plenty of water and fertile soil for growing crops. Trivia The Azilian culture, which was centred in the Pyrenees region but spread to Switzerland, Belgium and Scotland, was one of the earliest representatives of Mesolithic culture in Europe. The Azilian was followed by the Tardinosian culture, which covered much of Europe. Magalmosian, named for a site in Denmark, is found in the Baltic region. It occurs in the middle of the Mesolithic period. It is there that hafted axes and improvement over the Paleolithic hand axes and bone tools are found. The Artibol culture, also named for a site in Denmark, spans most of the late Mesolithic. It is also known as the Kitchen Midden culture for the large deposits of mollusk shells found around the settlements.